Hey, my name is Aiden and this is Beto Build Guide so you can do massive DPS and damage starting right now. Beto has to be one of the most like waifu and she packs a huge punch when it comes to dealing damage. The key part of this electro character is that she supports and don't need much stage time and does really good damage in the game. Her E skill comes with press and hold. If you press, you don't need to worry about taking damage, but the DPS done will be significantly lower and you want to utilize this mechanic by using hold as this ability allows Beto to have a shield up which absorbs max damage off of Beto's max HP. The damage release after taking maximum damage will be magnificent as this ability comes with high damage potential while tanking damage at the same time. One of the mechanic to understand is how this ability withstands damage by either taking high damage from monsters or from low hitting monsters which is enabled by stacks. Taking damage from low hitting monsters takes at least 2 hits from them so you'll need to understand how each monsters work and how they attack to master Beto's counter ability. Easiest way to actually proc this ability is if you have a pyro character applying pyro effect on the grass which makes it really easy to proc this counter but this mechanic don't really work in dungeons and spiral abyss just when you're roaming around the world. You can also perfect parry when you time it perfectly as the enemy attack and you use the E skill at the same time. This way you don't really need to worry about stacks but this really takes a lot of playtime to actually perfect the skill. Beto's burst ability procs when the character in the field does normal attacks just like ZQ, but this ability also procs as you deal charge attacks as well. This ability also comes with high damage reduction just like ZQ's sword, making this ability one of the best support skill in Genshin. Damage reduction is a key component for your team to have maximum sustain while doing content like Spiral Abyss and this ability will enable you to survive doing massive electro damage onto the enemies. This ability will allow continuous super conduct which will enable your physical carries to deal massive damage and when this ability along with Zinq's ability is combined, damage numbers of electrocute as well as your main carries doing normal and charge attacks will be insane. Zinq and Beto has to be one of the best supports in Genshin which allows great offense and defense to your team and they are going to be one of the best supports for Eula as she will be able to apply super conduct and freeze continuously while she will shine doing massive normal attacks with her claymore. Hey, how are you doing today? Allow me to introduce you to my Beto build. She's level 85. With the weapon of choice I use Wolf's Gravestone along with Black Good Slasher. For the artifacts I didn't have time to grind Thundering Fury so I used 2 piece Glad. And I also use 2 piece Noblesse with the burst build. For the parry, 2 piece Glad with the feather, crit damage with elemental mastery, HP with crit damage, crit rate. For the eyeglass, attack percent with crit damage, energy recharge. For the cup, electro damage bonus with attack percent, crit damage, crit rate. And for the helm, crit damage with crit rate and attack percent. And for the burst build, I use 2 piece Noblesse. The feather attack with crit damage and crit rate on it. And the flower with HP with crit damage and crit rate. Ideally you want to go for Thundering Fury with 2 piece Noblesse or Thundering Fury with 2 piece Glad. And for the Hourglass I also use Energy Recharge with crit damage on it and Spiral Abyss. So that Beto can do much more damage or have more Energy Recharge for the burst. For the Constellation she's C6. I got extremely lucky here. For the talents, level 11 for the E and level 12 on the Q because of the constellation. If you're gonna go for the parry, definitely you wanna max Tide Caller. If you're gonna go burst like me, then you wanna max Stormbreaker. Obviously, you wanna max both of these. I personally like to use Beta for the burst. And I like to have main DPS do normal and charge attacks. And it seems like they just do massive damage. And for the physical build, you wanna actually max this out. And I'll leave everything in the description below for the Beto build so you can just skip over. And now, Beto's team comp is going to start right now. Beto fits in most team comps. One that comes to mind is with Child Tartaglia as she fits with him perfectly due to how Child does normal and charge attacks with hydro damage. This combo will enable massive electrocute with high damage potential to destroy many enemies. Wu Tao is another example as she does normal and charge attacks as well with continuous overload which is excellent against mobs with shields. Mona and other Catalyst characters are great with Beto as well and one of the most OP one to combo is going to be with most physical carries especially with Eula as she is Cryo and Beto 
is Electro, making it best fit for each other. If you're using Beidou as a main Electro or physical DPS, she packs a huge punch with support characters like Zingling and Zing Q, making Beidou fit in most team comps in Genshin and Pack. If you decide to go for a physical build for Beidou, it's viable especially because she's an Electro character, makes it extremely easy to apply Super Conduct, and because she uses Claymore, using normal and charge attacks with her can be useful, especially when all of your party members are on cooldown and you need a physical DPS to deal damage. Going for 2 piece glad along with 2 piece bloodstain was the original way, but now with the pale flame set, 4 piece bonus which gives 18% attack with 50% physical damage, going 4 piece pale flame will be the best choice. For main physical claim or DPS, going for a song of broken pines is the best choice, but as you look at her constellations, most increases electro damage, and she actually comes with electro damage as ascension, which makes it obvious to actually go for full electro support, as she will actually be one of the best support for cryo main physical DPS in Eula. The best way to build Beidou is going to be maximizing her support capabilities, as you use your main DPS carry out on the floor and use your skills and abilities, you can quickly switch to Beidou as you can parry right away, get energy recharge while doing high damage and tanking, use your burst then switch to your main carry again so the character can unleash massive normal attacks while Beidou's burst deal massive damage. The best way to build Beidou, parry support build is to go with 2 piece thundering furry along with 2 piece gladiator. This way you will maximize her parry while enabling good burst damage. If you want to maximize her burst damage though, going for 2 piece thundering furry along with 2 piece noblesse is an ideal choice. For the stat priorities, look for attack percent or energy recharge charge on the sands. Personally, I recommend going energy recharge on the sands due to AD energy for the burst. This way you can actually use the burst more effectively. Make sure to go electro damage bonus on the cup and crit rate or crit damage on the hat. For the substats, look for crit rate, crit damage, energy recharge, and attack percent. The best weapons for parry burst build is to go with 5 star weapons, skyward pride, and wolf's greystone. 4 star weapons in black pit slasher and battle pass weapon serpent spine are great options as crit damage and crit rate are key components to deal massive DPS. 4 star weapon prototype arcade is going to be best choice for free to play option as this weapon comes with attack percent and is viable for both sub electro DPS and main physical DPS as well. And as for rain slasher, if you have a team comp with hydro characters like child, mona or zinq, this weapon is going to fit perfectly. As you take a closer look at current electro characters we have, Beidou actually has a chance to deal most electro damage in the game. She packs a huge punch in damage and because she doesn't really need much stage time to do so, so, this actually makes her a really good support, especially in team comps that make it so. While you're on cruise control, help your boy out with a sub. My name is Aiden, and I'll see you in the next video.